What is up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a summer clothing haul and I have a lot, a lot of clothes to get through. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm the kind of person who also shops for things out of season. Like it'll be the dead of winter and I'm shopping for swimsuits and shorts because you totally need those in winter, right? Like, I don't know. So some of this stuff in this haul I've had for a little while. Some of it I have already worn. Some of it is brand spanking new. It's just like all across the board, but a lot of it I've just accumulated over time. But yeah, we've got a lot to get through and hopefully I'm not gonna ramble on and on about each piece. I'm gonna try to make it short and sweet so this video doesn't take like 30 minutes. But yeah, we will see what happens. So before we get started, I'll just let you know that everything I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below along with all of my personal links and my measurements for reference. So if you're interested in any of that, it's all going to be in the description box. But yeah, we've got some stuff from Free People, Urban Outfitters, Fashion Nova, Lulu's, Nordstrom, like all across the board. We've got a lot of we've got a lot of stuff to get through. So without further ado, let's hop into it. So first we're gonna start with bralettes. So I'm the kind of person if I find something I like, I get it in multiple colors. Typically that means black and white, maybe sometimes gray or like nude or something like that, but you know, black and white goes with everything. All of these bralettes are from three people, by the way. The first one is white, it's a halter top, and it just class back here. Now, all free people bralettes, I'm always a size extra small. I actually had to hem this one to come in a little bit more. I had to take some of the fabric off because I have quite a small rib cage and it wasn't quite tight enough on my rib cage, so I had to alter it to be a little bit tighter. But I love this halter one. I have it in black as well. I just feel like it goes so good with anything that is halter. Sometimes you don't want the girls to be like, <laughs> like really up there and I feel like bralettes are just the perfect in between to feel a little bit supported but not like you're like super caged in. This next one also free people it is a racer back. I wear the crap out of this one you guys. I I don't know it is just like it's so comfortable and it goes with everything. I absolutely love it. This next one I just picked up. I think it is absolutely adorable. I don't know how many times I'm going to say adorable and cute in this video. I'm just going to like warn you right now. It's probably going to happen a lot. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, but I just think the lacy detail is so cute. It like looks like floral almost. And this one is crisscross and then it also has additional straps. So it's a little bit more supportive than if it was just a crisscross back. I definitely feel like these little tiny thin straps, it would kind of like weigh down too much if there weren't two of them. But this one, oh my gosh, so cute. I got it in black and white and I probably should only keep one, but your girl wants to keep both of them. So we'll see what happens. Moving right along to dresses. So the first dress I have is this red one, this one I got at Nordstrom. It is the brand O'Neal, which is like a super kind of beachy brand, probably based out of like California or Hawaii or something like that, who knows. But I got this in a size small and I really wanted this dress to wear to a wedding because I have a lot of dresses that I can wear to weddings, but to be completely honest, a lot of them are very tight and restrictive and not very comfortable. And I find like I eat a lot of food and I drink a lot at weddings and I just like don't want to have to deal with the food baby. I <laughs> And I also like with dancing, I want to be able to move, you know what I mean? So this dress, I love it because it's really, really flowy and summery, perfect for a summer wedding. But then it also cinches in at the waist. So it's not like it's just like billowy. It's not like it's like a bag. I hate how some dresses, if they're just like, if there's no shape to them, then it looks like you're like wearing a potato sack. So I like that this like cinches in at the waist so it looks a little less like potato sacky. <laughs> Great descriptions, Shannon, great descriptions. I love this one so much. I got it in two colors. I got it in this red color and I got it in blue. And I can't decide which one to keep. Oh my gosh, there's like, ugh, the design is so cute too. I'm really not like a design or a print person, but I just feel like this is very like, tropical, summery, so it works for me. I'm okay with it. I don't know which color I should keep, so let me know what you think, which color works better. I probably, I'm, I'm leaning towards this one because it's like super bright, but I want to keep both of them. 
I don't know. We'll see what happens. I do this all the time. I'm just like a creature of habit. And if I find something I like, I like to buy it in multiple colors. <sighs> Let me know you guys. Let me know what you think. This next dress is from Urban Outfitters. It is a denim dress. I feel like denim is just all the rage right now. Denim dresses are coming, but like overalls are coming back in style. And I've tried, I've tried like so many and I just can't find ones that work for me. So this is the closest I could find to one that works. But to be completely honest, it's not my favorite. So I might return it. I haven't worn it yet. Um, it is very cute, but it is short. And I feel like it just like kind of doesn't come in enough at the back. But I don't know, let me know what you think. I also just feel like it's a little bit too trendy for me. Like, I'm not that trendy. I play things a little bit safe. So this might be a little too trendy for me, but I do think it's cute. I feel like if you are a trendy person, you could really rock this. I've seen it on people and they look so good in it. I size down in this. I'm typically a four and I got a size two. So if you're gonna get this, definitely size down a size. Up next we have tops, which I'm also gonna group together with bodysuits because that's kind of a top. So this first one is this mustard colored one from Urban Outfitters. I sized up in this. I'm typically a size small and I got this in a size medium because it was very, very tight in a size small. And this comes in multiple colors. I just, I got this mustard color because I keep seeing it everywhere and I know it probably isn't the best for me because I'm blonde and blondes aren't supposed to wear yellow or whatever. And also mustard just like reminds people of the condiment. So I don't know if it's the best color on me, but I really do like it. Um, it is a very, very low V, so I wore a bralette underneath it, so I'm not just like popping out for the world. It is racer back and it is a thong. I hate it when you get a bodysuit that is a like regular like, kind of granny panty cut because then it's like, it's gonna show if you wear any, like if you wear jeans or something over it, it's gonna show. So I only like thong bodysuits or like the super cheeky cut bodysuits. So this one fit the bill and I really, really like it. This next bodysuit is from Fashion Nova. It is just a plain black thong racer back bodysuit. It's super, super stretchy. I believe it is a size small slash medium. But yeah, it's just, it's super basic. I just wanted a really, really basic black bodysuit and Fashion Nova has tons of them. So if you're looking for that, definitely go on there and check it out. The next bodysuit I'm actually wearing right now, I think it's so cute. It is an off the shoulder bodysuit. It is a cheeky cut bottom and it has a clasp bottom as well so those other ones you like step into them and this one you can like pull over your head and clasp it in the crotch area i just think the off the shoulder is so cute i'm obsessed with off the shoulder stuff right now and it is so soft and stretchy and comfortable this comes in two other colors and i'm probably gonna buy them both because you know me that's what i do <laughs> up next this is a lulu crop top I really like that it is nice and loose and flowy and then it is high neck which is nice kind of switching things up from like low low cut stuff and then it ties up in the back the top and the bottom so they were out of size small so I had to get this in a medium so it's a little bit big but I do like it it's in this navy color I feel like it would go super cute with anything white bottom so I paired it with white jeans in this video I feel like white and navy it's very like nautical and summery so yeah I really like it moving on to bottoms so these shorts the brand is called Rolas Ro Rolas I hope it's not Royas but it's Rolas I think and I found these at Urban Outfitters I got these in a size 26 and this brand is Australian from what I have read and Urban Outfitters just sells them here in the US so I absolutely love these I've been looking for denim shorts everywhere and they are so hard to find like why are they so hard to find i've talked about my struggle with wearing pants and jeans and all that and shorts and whatever before if i find something that fits me in the waist then i typically can't pull it up over my butt and my thighs and then if i find something that i can pull up over my butt and my thighs then it's like gapes out in the waist so i was shook when i found these i think they're so cute so flattering. I love the little destroyed detail on the right side here. And then it is a little bit cute. Your butt kind of pops out of the bottom of the back, which I mean, not for everyone, but I think it's adorable. It's not like your butt is coming all the way out. It's like there's still a little bit something there. And it's like, is that, is that your butt? 
Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I think these are so cute and I'm obsessed with them and I really wanna get more Rolla's jeans now. Up next we have this skirt from Urban Outfitters. It is the BDG brand and I got this in a size small. It's just a basic black denim skirt. Like I said, if I get something in one color, I wanna get it in every color. So this comes in, I think, just regular denim and white as well and I want it in both. Go figure. But yeah, it's just a very simple denim black skirt. It's comfortable, it's not too short, which a lot of denim skirts are too short on me. So I really, really like this guy as well. Up next is this Topshop skirt. I got this in a size four. I think this skirt is so adorable just because it has the little destroyed details on here, but I'm gonna be completely honest, it is a little too short for me, so I should probably return it, but I haven't yet because I just think it's so cute and I don't want to return it, but it is really, really hard to get it up over my butt, so <laughs> I should return it. My, I, I like tried it on for my boyfriend and I couldn't even like get it on. He's like, why are you keeping that? And I was like, it's cute though. So yeah, it's a little short, a little tight. Probably shouldn't keep it, but it is so cute. So if you don't have as thick of a lower body going on, I would say highly, highly recommend this skirt. Up next is this denim skirt from Fashion Nova. So another denim skirt, I know, but since I'm returning that Topshop one, I, I decided I'm doing it. This one is stretchy because you can always count on Fashion Nova to come through with the stretchy denim, which I need. So this one's super stretchy and it's a little bit longer, so it's a little more conservative and I just, I don't feel like my butt's gonna pop out, so that's very nice. But it also hugs the body better, so it kinda like hugs your booty, it gives you a little bit of shape, whereas the denim with no stretch, it kinda just like flattens you out. So I really do like this one. It is very, very comfortable and I think a good alternative to that little Topshop one. The last skirt that I have here is a Topshop paper bag waist skirt, which I got in a size four. I get all of my Topshop at Nordstrom, by the way. I've only ordered from the Topshop website like a couple times but both websites have free shipping and free returns so it's like doesn't matter which one you go to I just typically use Nordstrom because it is like right down the street from me if I want to return anything but anyway I feel like this skirt is really cute I like this kind of like I don't know what would you call this dusty mauve color like nude mauve color and I've been looking for paper bag stuff everywhere because it's super trendy right now and I've tried on a lot of paper bag shorts and like they just, yeah, they're not working for me. So I found a paper bag skirt that I think is very cute. So nice little alternative and yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Okay, moving on. Moving on to jackets. I know it is summertime, so not everybody is going to be looking for jackets in the summer, but some of us live in places where it gets a little bit cooler at nighttime in the summer, so I included them anyway. So I love denim, as we can tell, denim is in right now. So I got this cropped denim jacket from Fashion Nova in white. I think it's so cute. It comes in some other colors as well. It has a raw edge hem at the bottom and I love that it's cropped so it's not like way too long and just like baggy. Up next is a black cropped denim jacket. And this one's not like solid black. It's like kind of like dusty black. I guess that's what black denim typically is. It's like a little bit, a little bit grayish black. But I love this. It is from Lulu's, but it is Billabong brand. So another great option for a little jacket at nighttime to wear in the summer. The last jacket I have here is from Fashion Nova. It is a long, regular denim jacket, but it is very, very distressed. I love how distressed the back of it is. And I got this in a medium because I wanted it to be like super oversized and kind of like casual looking, but I love this jacket. I have worn this like a million times. It's great to just like throw over something and you just kind of look all cool and casual and trendy and yeah, trendier than I actually am. Moving on to accessories. This belt I got from Urban Outfitters. 
I got it in a size small. You've probably been seeing me wear this this whole video and you're like, Shannon, where is that belt from? Because it's so cute. I have been looking for a Western belt for so long. I wanted like, originally I wanted a double buckle where there's like two buckles in the front, but then I saw this one and it was so cute and I loved it. And honestly, a lot of the double buckle ones that I found were meant for low rise jeans and your girl does not wear low rise anything. So I definitely needed one that fit around my waist and this one fit the bill and I think it's so cute and I literally want to be pairing it with everything right now. So on my Instagram, you're probably gonna see a million pictures of me in this belt. <laughs> Last but not least, shoes. So the first pair of shoes are these peep toe booties from Lulu's. I got these a little while ago and they are so, so cute. I love how it's a peep toe in the front and it's a peep heel, like that's adorable. So I just, I feel like peep toe stuff is really, really cute for summertime. I don't know, I have plenty of sandals and plenty of wedges, but I wanted to shake things up with a little peep toe action. So I got these ones, and then I also got these ones, which are from Fashion Nova. They do not have a peep toe heel, but they do have a regular peep toe, and I really, really like them. So yeah, guys. Hopefully that didn't take a million years, but that is it. That is my summer clothing haul. I hope you liked everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for videos you would like to see, brands you want me to review, please comment in the description box down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also hit the notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I put out my videos. And that is all I have for you today. So I will see you next time. And thanks so much for watching again. Okay, I'm out of here. Uh, I'm so bad. I never know how to end videos, but uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye.